What's going on guys, it's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I am finally going to be playing some Infinity Kingdom. So this has by far been the most requested game on this YouTube channel. People have been messaging me on Discord, they've been messaging me in-game on ROK. People have just straight up been suggesting and recommending this game to me, saying, hey OmniArc, have you heard of Infinity Kingdom? Have you played it? Do you plan on playing it? And you know, it's, it's no wonder why, right? Because if you watch some gameplay for Infinity Kingdom, it looks, and I'm just, I'm gonna say it, okay, I, I love ROK, but it looks just like a better version. It literally does. It's it's a similar gameplay style, but all the graphics are better. There's dragons and just different elements in this game. Like it's it's literally like if somebody just made a sequel to ROK, right? Like that's basically what it is. They basically just took everything that ROK did and just gave it a facelift and improved all of it. That that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna be playing the game on this channel a little bit, and we're gonna be exploring Infinity Kingdom to see. Well, let's see what it brings to the table because honestly, I'm impressed with what I've seen so far just by watching a couple of youtube videos but first we have to cheers we have a bottle this time of course so if you guys want to play with me in infinity kingdom make sure you click the link in the description below the game of course is free to play okay welcome to norheim it says thank you for answering the call of the three kingdoms and coming to norheim to fight this glorious battle of survival and resurge here you will face attacks by the gnomes and you will have to search high and low for the most efficient ways to defeat them you will also be tasked with the glorious mission of reviving the kingdom's previous prosperous days but most importantly you and your companions will have to work together to protect Protect the world heart, keeping it stable. Are you ready for this strange new world and its endless challenges now? Let's choose the kingdom you wish to become the brilliant lord of. So right away, I'm getting like a mixture of obviously, you know, some some other games in this genre, but we, we also, I feel like I'm getting some like, you know, World of Warcraft vibes, right? We've got like the world heart, right? That there's like the heart of Azeroth. So this has already got some overlaps with some really, really good games in the genre. And look at the art style, man. Look at the art style. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. So you basically have a choice between three different, uh, you know, kingdoms, right? Um, and we can kind of go back here. You have the Ruslan, the Idvia, Idvia, and then Vitas. So you can choose them. They have different buffs that you can actually get. So my favorite one so far has been the Idvia. Um, I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing that properly, but it's mystery and rationality. This kind of reminds me of like Harry Potter, right? Like picking your house in Harry Potter. Um, I mean, I love owls. Owls are my favorite. So I'm going to be picking Idvia. So I don't, you know, you guys can pick whatever you want. You get a uh, 5% HP for Spearman with Idvia, but we can also move on over to, uh, Ruslan and they have the, uh, lion here, valor and strength. So this is, you know, shout out to Gryffindor, of course. Um, but like guys, the, these the graphics look so good, man. And that gives you, um, some cavalry stats as well. And then the Vitas is nature and dignity and you get HP for shieldman so it's a little you know we got we got we have a, a lion an owl and you got a tree interesting choice okay and i get it right like the 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 tree represents like nature and mother earth and stuff like that so i i get it it makes sense to me but it, it just feels like they probably should have an animal i don't know anyway let's take a look at idvia we're gonna go with this one because my god look at this boy look at this good boy let's freaking go okay uh, man this i'm excited I'm excited. Let's take a look at this cutscene, stone, The Philosopher's Stone. A human soul bound by rarest alchemy. Okay. So Philosopher's Stones have human souls in them. The ultimate gate. <clears throat> oh, that's a big one. Wait, what is the fight for the stone? Oh, those are the kingdoms. Okay, so the kingdoms are fighting for the Philosopher's Stones. And the kingdoms of man have mm. been at war. That's Julius Caesar. You see the dragons in the background? I oh, know you saw those dragons. Yeah, this reminds me of like orcs and uh, and gnomes from like World of Warcraft and also like Lord of the Rings, um, which is good. Like those are good vibes, right? Like WoW is an incredibly good game. I love the lore. I love the art style. So anytime that I'm reminded of World of Warcraft in the game, it's I'm I'm, I'm excited, right? And you know, not that many games give me those vibes. Of course, it is general like high fantasy, right? So, but still, it looks awesome. If nothing is done, the human world may face 
face, it's doom. It's doom. We're doomed, everybody. We are doomed, everybody. I'm just kidding. I mean, we're going to be the heroes, right? Like, we're the lord of, 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 of this city here. So, basically, the humans have been fighting. They've been super greedy. And then, meanwhile, the gnomes have been off in their, you know, in their mountainous regions just preparing for war and taking over. So, who's this? Who's Grace? In dire need, huh? Ooh, we got Lancelot. It's your boy. The gnomes have ransacked our cities. Okay, so our city is in, in, is in disrepair. So, we have to go ahead and build this up. But, man, look. look the whole game is, is like these beautiful 3d renderings this looks so good so first we build a castle of course obviously you have to build a castle you gotta so these are alchemists i guess the alchemists are the ones that do the building i mean obviously you have builders right but uh that's what they just said they said oh you brought an alchemist that's what grace said yeah the alchemy of the god is such a huge building restored to its formal glory in an instant so we're basically uh using some sort of uh holy magic to rebuild this city which is really cool gotta rebuild the walls okay so let's go ahead and do that. This should be pretty quick. Five seconds, same thing. Look at that. Like, it, it, they actually, you actually see it building. That's such an improvement. Like, there's so few games, I feel like, in this genre that put this much detail into the graphics of just your city. I like, I like how they all have voice acting too. That's so interesting. Okay, so we have to summon an immortal. So we're basically gonna fight off these gnomes. All right, we're gonna fight off the gnomes. So let's go over here. This is the Hall of Immortals. So we're gonna have to build this really quick, I imagine. There it is. And look, all the pieces, the the rubble just rises up. Super cool. So let's go into the Hall of Immortals here, and we'll see. Uh, we'll do a free summon. Looks like a free little summon here. So we got these are, I guess, philosopher stone like shards or whatever. Um, and what do we get here? So I'm pretty sure, from what I've seen, this is the uh, this is the uh, immortal that you get right off the bat, pretty much all the time. Look, <laughs> oh, that was some some electricity there. Okay, or no, it's not electricity. It's frost interesting water okay so pierre terrell 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 i'm sorry i don't know fearless knights we've got cavalry water and attack uh piercing lance inflicts physical damage of 165 percent to target we're going to ignore that uh, biography there let's go ahead and confirm him boom let's go we need to train some troops so we're going to go to the training grounds over here i feel like my city is huge like like this place is so big right like in other games you gotta like pinch and zoom and you see like your little belt like this is this is massive this is so cool right this is this is awesome um okay you must restore the cavalry barracks to train troops okay so what did we just restored what is it that we just restored with it oh training grounds okay so i guess you need barracks to train and then training grounds for the units i'm not really sure but we'll see here Ooh, 69 power a hey. <laughs> Get it. All right. Wonderfully done. The cavalry barracks have been built. Troops, arm yourselves and be on the ready. So let's go ahead and uh, train up some. We're going to train, what is this, 4,000 light cavalry. Look, dude, even the unit, look at this. The, the, the whole game is, is fully animated 3D renderings. Like, this is seriously a free-to-play game. Like, it looks incredible. It looks so beautiful. Like, these graphics look insane. And this is a tier one unit. What do the tier fives look like? All right. It says 15 minutes, but we're going to speed that up. Let's just one click with one button. We have a 4,000 cavalry army. So let's go over here. Um, and so this is, I guess, um, so this is Lancelot with his little uh, cavalry over here. We're going to put Pierre over in this slot. So we've got more power and he's got the cavalry we just trained apparently. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll click auto and then cool. Perfectly done. It's time to shut those horrible gnomes up. Charge. Okay. So let's... No, I'm not looking for death unless it's you. Let's go ahead and challenge them to a battle. So there it is, dude. There it is. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the dragons, boys. Let's go. Okay. Um. So they're like very like mechanical looking, mecha gnomes. So this is this is the combat. Like this is what combat look. Look, look. You can even see. You can even see your units like falling and and despawning and dying. That's crazy so we have the hp up top here your immortal has gathered enough energy to cast a powerful skill so look at the eyes on him all right let's cast that spill okay so we see just a bunch of water just like raise up from the ground very cool so it's interesting that you can actually activate your skills manually so that's 
interesting i don't know if this is just pve content and i don't think this is i mean maybe this is how the pvp content is as well like i said i actually don't know much about this game i've just seen a couple of videos here and there um great we we successfully re uh, repelled a unit of gnomes i believe that under your command will be able to route the remaining enemies one by one that's right and once you clean up this area outside the city you'll also be able to build farms to deal with the food shortage we're facing okay so let's go ahead and build a farm over here and with that immortal magic poof we've got a farm incredible guys incredible he looks as tall as the whole building itself okay the humans were on their last legs where they find the strength to resist it's your boy okay it's your boy of course i got the strength to resist what are you talking about of course i do all right let's go ahead and build up our hospital here because we're gonna have to fight off the other gnomes that are outside and look look the building just like I, I, I guys i can't get i can't get over it it just the game looks so good dude it just looks so good and look you can go into your ho your hospital is fully anim animated too like every building you can click and go into it's it's crazy dude it, and i know like i feel like i'm focusing on like such minor things but having such incredible detail for the small things makes me really optimistic for how the rest of the game is built right like if you care about like you know clicking in your hospital and seeing your your troops actually wounded inside the hospital like you've probably put a lot of thought into everything else too i don't know that's my assumption right anytime that uh, game focuses on the teeny tiny little details those are the ones that you know typically have a lot to offer so i'm excited let's see we built the bowman barracks so we've gone from level one to two we've got our own philosopher's stone over here so we got to build the shieldman barracks and now it looks like the tutorial has kind of opened up a little bit so now we can actually uh kind of go around here and look at our city so uh, let's collect that and then we'll upgrade the castle to two this is going to take 20 seconds okay um so first recharge is merlin so i guess if you make a purchase you automatically get merlin which he is a water element uh which it looks like lancelot and pierre also are so i think having a you know uh if you're gonna min max i think having a lot of the same elements probably good that's my assumption um because i've played a decent amount of games like this and i feel like I'm, I'm kind of a veteran right i feel like i'm kind of i know my way around these games okay and i've got a hunch that min maxing in that way is probably good so we have a free attempt here um so this free summon will um after 10 you get a guaranteed either elite or epic okay so let's go ahead and do another summon uh these alchemists are just doing all the work for us man they're building the buildings they're summoning the immortals like the the champion whatever we call them is that constance who is that wow okay yeah we we, we want uh we want her on that like, did she just post her? she just did a little selfie right there that was called helen of troy okay so she's a bowman she's also water blizzard conjures an ice storm that lasts for 12 seconds dealing magical damage um damage rate 61 and 61.2 to three random targets within range uh uh every three seconds there's an eight percent chance i can't read that because the tutorial is forcing me not to so let's just go ahead uh we summoned a new mortal let's deploy them at once so let's go into our troop composition it looks like we can now uh move helen of troy into the back row here and um it looks like so we have one of each rarity so far except for legendary it looks like or whatever the i guess it was epic was the gold looking one i'm not really sure but we've got two sets of cavalry here and then one set of bowmen in the back i guess that makes sense right because bowmen's are arranged i don't know three combat units with the same elemental attribute thus activating the aura see what did i tell you min maxing see min maxing we got three water types here elements are unique to this land they interact with one another and the and each has its own strengths and weaknesses deploy immortals of the same attribute to boost your troops combat power so here we get um immortal physical defense plus 20 percent and magical defense plus 20 percent so if you have four you get even more and five you get even even more that's crazy okay so um yeah we have auto set already so um we have the maximum number of troops excellent so that's kind of like our little army right there which is cool so let's take a look around okay let's let's explore all right so we've got the training grounds the training grounds i guess is the maximum amount of uh where you inspect your army the highest level the more soldiers you can inspect there in total okay so you can go all the way up to level 40 oh my god okay so you can have up to half a million uh i guess um soldiers here interesting and then the barracks are where they're actually trained so let's go in let's start training some troops here because we're gonna have to do that anyway you can't have it like a military war game like this and not be training troops at all times so look at that dude look at look at the look at the little animations look at them look at them little tier one 
Look at that T1 unit right there. Let's go. All right, so it looks like Shieldman beat Spearman. Spearman beat Cavalry, and Cavalry beat Shieldman. Bowmen don't beat any troop type, but are also not beaten by other troop types. Okay, so Bowmen are kind of just like the neutral unit. Uh, when your troops fight with a troop that uh, they beat, they receive 25% less damage. Okay, interesting. So, wait, when they fight a type that they beat, so when Shieldmen fight Spearmen, the Shieldmen don't deal more damage, they actually take less damage. Interesting. Okay. Um, so we've got attack, HP, defense, and load. Interesting. What's this? This is the Spearman Barracks. Oh, we get extra we get extra health by being uh what is it? We are Idvia, so okay. Um let's change our name here, uh, because we are on the arc, so everyone needs to know. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm glad nobody stole my name. That's excellent. Um which one of these pictures do we want to use for now? We're gonna go with uh we're gonna go with uh I don't know. None of these really look like me to be honest. I I mean I see you in the comments, okay? I see you in the comments. Let's, you know, we'll go with it. Nah, this guy's guy kind of lame. We don't want to go with that guy. We got, we, we go. He's cool, man. We like the cool-looking guy. All right. We like to, we like to look cool. We like to think we're cool, even though we're not. All right. Um, what are we doing here? Is there anywhere for me to shamelessly promote my YouTube channel? No, it, no. Okay, great. Um, anyway, let's go here. Let's take a look at some of the events here, okay? Oh, special bun. This, yeah. my boy. Is that my boy, Richie? Is that my boy, Richie? Yo, we got Saladin? Alexander? Okay, hang on. Hold the phone here for a second. What, what What's going on here? So we've got some special bundles. I don't really... We save the purchases for when we're uh, shamelessly addicted to the game, which is probably going to happen. What do we get for free? What's the good stuff? Give me the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let's claim that because I don't know... Oh, I linked something. So obviously you want to link that, but... Um... Wow, look at all the stuff you get just for signing in. Wait, you get... You get crystals of Leonidas for free by just logging in. That's a legendary. Dude, that's good. You get legendaries for free just by logging in? What? Yo, are okay. Take notes, boys. Um, okay, let's see what do we got in the items section here. Um, ooh, Philosopher's Stone. We can use that to uh, summon something awesome later. You know what I want to see? Let's look at the Immortals, Okay. So we've got Lancelot. So everyone starts with Lancelot. I think everyone probably starts with all of these, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm just on Idvia that I got these three. But I would be willing to bet. There he is, dude. Lionheart. Yo, this has got to be my first legendary, right? I mean, like, I, I mean, look at my logo on my channel, right? It's 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 got to be Richard. Oh my God, they're full 3D renders. They're full 3D renders. Look at the lightning coming off this guy. Look at that hammer. Dude, this game looks so good. Hannibal Barca, are you actually good in this game? Are you good in this game or are you booty? Be honest. Okay. I have no idea how to pronounce that. We got Charles. Yo, look at it. Dude. What is that? What is he got to summon? What is... What is this, dude? This is so sick we've got Harold Frederick dude this I'm blown away at these animations yo he's a super saiyan he's literally a super saiyan he just did the like yo <laughs> that is okay let's see let's see I okay, got calm down on the arc you freaking weeb calm down this is Sparta boys Dude, that's so cool. These look so good. These look so good. And look, he turns his head to look at us the whole time. Dude, look at how many... Look at how many immortals there are. Those are all the legendaries. Oh my god. There's so much to do. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, we get free gems. Yeah, okay, I'll take free gems. So I guess as you collect the immortals, you get gems for free. Ooh, little dragon. Okay. Is this... Who, what? <laughs> Dude, I love this. This looks so good. Solomon. What is this? Oh my... Dude. This looks amazing. 
This looks amazing. Yo, he looks badass. The Leper King. Look at that. That's so cool. Ooh, Minamoto, baby. Minamoto with the return. Is he a bowman? Legendary Samurai, but he's got a... Okay. Theodora. Okay. Let's see. Yo, is this Khan? This is Khan. Yo, what is that? A raven? Okay. Dude, I'm just... I just... I, 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 oh my god. Dude, these look so good. We need to we need to start making some progress. Because we need to start summoning some of these guys. So, let's claim... Uh, what is this? Claim these free gifts. What is this? VIP points? Okay, we'll take the VIP points. Um, let's go and start training some spearmen. There he is, dude. He's a hunk. Look at, the, look at the muscles on this guy. Would you just look at the muscles? Can we see? So, this is tier 2. This is tier three. Three. Okay, so I like that. There's minor, there's like slight upgrades each time. So you're, you're making progress, but it's nothing crazy. And then boom, you go to T5, baby. Look at this absolute unit right here. Absolute unit. And they're all, look guys, the the actual units themselves are 3D renders. They're 3D. I'm blown away. I am blown away. This looks incredible. Um, okay, we need to... Let's see. We need to recapture this area. So let's get let's get into another little 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 altercation over here. Let's challenge these guys. Look, they got a freaking zeppelin over here. This is nuts. Okay, all right. So back and look, the battles look incredible too. I just can't get over the graphic style. Like it actually feels like it, it's like it it's you know it's the city builder type of game that you expect, but the graphics are like a like it reminds me of like World of Warcraft. Like it, it's it's actually nuts. Oh, what is that? Is that an AoE? That was cool. Someone just got freaking sniped. Okay. Okay. So we're getting experience here for our immortals, which is good. We're getting some uh, free speed ups, healing good stuff here. So, okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, the morale is surging, of course. I mean, we just looked at all the 3D models. Of course the morale is surging, boys. Let's freaking go. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, uh, what is this? Lumber mill. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we did chapter one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What is this, Lancelot? Okay, we get, um, so we get 10 soul crystals of Lancelot. So I imagine, so you need 30 for a summon, um, but I imagine to level up his skills, you're gonna need it as well. I can only imagine, right? Uh, I mean, what else would you use them for after you summon them? So, okay, on to chapter two, conquest, the start. Who's this guy, Duncan? Dude, look at that, look at the face tattoo. I love it, it's like Mike Tyson. So we need 10 to add, oh, he's got stats. Oh, I like that. I like that. That adds a little bit of depth to the game. Okay. So immortals have their own stats. So inflict physical damage to a target enemy row. So that just bumped 40% by adding, by developing him once. If we do it again, what's gonna happen? Oh, okay. So we developed it and went up by 40. So it's linear. Okay. Oh, there's an equipment system. Oh my God. This game, I'm shocked that this game launched with this much content. Like there's so many immortals. They're all beautiful 3D animated renders. There's an entire equipment system right out of the gate. Like I'm, I'm impressed. I'm legitimately impressed. We're not going to speed up 15 seconds. We got 15 seconds to waste. Okay. Oh, we'll gain VIP though. Yeah. Let's use that VIP. Of course. Let's see. We are VIP one. So we get 30 shop refreshes. Cool. All right. We need to join an alliance. Honestly, we need to, uh, we need to get ourselves an alliance. Um, what is this? We're going to upgrade the training grounds. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, we can, we can wait 15 seconds. Um, look at this. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Mm. Well, well, well. Um, what is this? The Academy level six. Okay. So basically we're going to have to just start focusing on the castle, right? I mean, that's really what, that's really what this is all about. Um, do we have two builders? Can we get a second builder? We can, and a $5 bundle for a second building queue. This is probably super worth it, honestly. Um, so I will probably buy this very soon, but for now, we get a second builder queue for free. So let's go ahead and do that. 
and uh, we should be fine. Let's claim this. Um, oh, we can use experience. Yeah, we'll just use one just for the just for the little quest. You know what I'm saying? We'll use it for the little quest. That's fine. No big deal. Um, let's bring our castle to level. Oh, we need to do the wall first. Of course, of course, you got to do the wall first. I mean, what's what kind of freaking cake? You know what I'm saying? Of course you got it. You can't have a really nice castle and just have someone freaking ransack it. You need a nice little wall in front of you, okay? It's common sense, boys, okay? It's common sense. What can we do here? Oh, we can do a free attempt. So you get five free attempts probably every day, which is cool. Um, and then it's probably going to give me shards of something, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's a green unit or green rarity. Uh, so nothing super exciting there. Mm, let's go ahead and use this. We'll see if we can get a legendary. I really want Richard. I feel like I deserve Richard. You know what I mean? Like, even if he's not good in this game, I don't, I don't know what the meta is or who's good or who even does what, but I just feel like I deserve Richard. You know? I just feel like I deserve him. Anyway, let's go ahead and do another summon here. We'll see if we can get something awesome. A manator? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't pronounce some of these. Uh, the construction workers are complaining that they have nothing to do. Interesting. Well, get back to work. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Five minutes. We can't wait five minutes. We get. What do we look like? We got five minutes to kill. Like, come on. We got. Yeah, sure. Ten seconds, but five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and fight these guys. Uh, they have an absolutely massive mechanical scorpion-looking, just demonic, whatever. Oh, it's not even here. Okay. Well, that was on the. It was there before. I swear. Um. Okay. So we've got. We've got in the back row over here. Um, she's dealing to... Oh, okay. Okay, pal. It looks like this is probably your skill. Oh, 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 shit. Okay. See, I told you. I wasn't making it up. Dude, that's actually... Okay, so this is like a boss fight, obviously. <coughs> oh, my God. I don't have Rona. Garrison. So this is basically a garrison fight. So let's use our uh, he Helen of Troy. Okay, so this is the this is where she deals damage over time. He's going to do that water attack we saw before. And what is this guy's uh, special? This immortal special. He just does a little pokey poke. All right, we did it, boys. We did it. Let's freaking go. Obviously, this is all still tutorial. I can't imagine you probably uh, you probably can't even lose a fight like that. But that was actually really cool. You got to admit that was that was cool, right? That was big, uh, you know, super massive uh, scorpion-looking mechanical beast thing. It, it it's epic. Okay, it's epic. Everyone knows it's epic. Just look at it. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. We got 10 seconds to kill. Let's claim that. We've got another quarry. And with that, we finished chapter two. Let's go ahead and claim those rewards. What is this? Territorial teleports. We have two of those now. Nice. I'm sure we'll need that. Chapter three, conquest growth. Nice monocle, pal. My lord, all affairs in the territory are in order now and no news of another gnome attack has been received. Perhaps we can go out and take a look. Let's go. I want to see the outside of the city for quite some time already. All right. So now we zoom out, we see the world, and this is going to be the telltale sign. Uh, let me just explain this. It's a vast continent. The three kings would go on one occasion. Most people had high hopes of a brighter future. However, everything changed when the gnome, you know, when the fire nation attacked. No, okay. Uh, hopefully we can quickly take back the cities captured by the gnomes and rescue the people suffering under their yoke. So the war among the three kingdoms continues without end. You must stay ever vigilant against attacks from lords of other kingdoms if you want to make a preemptive strike first scout the enemy's territory okay so it looks like blue is at war with green green is at war with red and red is at war with blue i maybe i don't know the gnomes have invaded and our country our county is in country country is in danger the gnomes have been have besieged one city after another to strike our home to start a fight alone so you should join an alliance, of course, of course. In the air above the center of the Norheim, uh, center of Norheim hangs a huge philosopher's stone, the world heart. It's a symbol of power and prestige. The road to the summit of, of power is always difficult. Gather your allies and conquer the world heart. The strongest lord of Norheim is about to be born. Okay. The gnome troops wandering outside the city remain a constant threat. However, they often carry quality wares that we can obtain if we defeat them. Why don't you try it out? Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and... What is this? We're searching. We're searching for Trent. You can earn immortal XP and immortal equipment by defeating gnome armies, but you must first defeat the weaker armies so we can fight the strong ones. Okay, so our first victory, we're going to get our first piece of equipment here. So gnome armies are on the rampage. You must send your troops to destroy them. Challenge the gnome armies uh, for a chance to get equipment when you defeat them. After a battle, you can find a detailed battle report. Okay, so let's go ahead and fight them. It looks like it uses 105, uh, you know, what is these? Uh, AP, so that's action points. Um, 
We're moving a little slow here, not gonna lie, Chief. Not gonna lie, you're, you're taking your sweet time. But guys, look at the actual world. Like, look at the, like, look at the actual graphics of the world. Like, there's leaves blowing in the wind. There's birds chirping. Like, this looks incredible. The game looks good, dude. What is this? Lava Lurker, okay. Oh, so we can fight that Death Stinger again. Nice. Known bosses. Let's go back to our city over here. Did we win? I wasn't paying attention. I hope we won. Let's see. Castle upgrade rewards. Give me that. Free stuff is good stuff. I love it. So we did win. Um, we got eight experience. Wow. And we got a rookie helmet and a rookie sword. Ooh. And we got some enchanting stones. I don't really know what those do. But uh, if we replay, can we watch the actual fight? Oh, we can. Dude, that's cool. That's really cool. Does it show you damage too while you're in the fight? It does show you damage. Oh, we one shot them. Easy, bro. Easy. Yo, we one shot them. Not a shot that this is difficult. Okay. So that's going to be useful for like battle testing and stuff, I think, because you can just go back and rewatch it and pay attention to like details and stuff. What do we get here? Uh, noble XP points once daily for free. The more consecutive you log in, of course. So let's get those VIP points um and then let's claim our daily exclusive chest so we get some experience this is like you know basic stuff because we're only vip one right but i imagine if you go up here to like a higher vip you probably get some real good stuff so let's see what's what do we get a vip 10 vip 10 you get a you get one philosopher stone every single day so that's one summon every single day and then uh oh we got some equipment over here if you do make a purchase bethany or elizabeth bethory interesting so there are some uh immortals zenobia you just straight up get zenobia guys no big deal you just get zenobia you just make that little purchase merlin okay wait is each one is a different oh no it's not okay all right you gotta tear what why we had tell whatever doesn't matter doesn't matter we're not interested in that right yet we probably will be later though if we are shamelessly addicted like i do think i might be oh give me all these goodies Wait, no, wait, go back, go back. What are we doing? What are we, oh, we're going to the city. Okay, that's fine. I'll go to the city. That's okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade this here. Um, what do we, uh, what is this? What is this? Dailies? Ooh, dailies. Okay. Dailies are important. Everybody knows dailies are important. If you've played a game like this before, you already know the deal. What do we get every day? Ooh, we get a Philosopher's Stone every day and gems. Free gems. Nice. Market order. We're going to have to, we, there's a lot we have to learn. Okay. I don't really know what any of this means, but what I do know is we're getting a lot of free stuff right now. And I love free stuff. That's the best kind of stuff. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. Oh, we just got a philosopher stone. I'm going to save up these philosopher stones, I think, for a video. And maybe we'll just do like a bunch of summons and we'll see like kind of what happens. Um, but like I was saying, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe so, oh, we got another philosopher stone, dude. I'm going to summon so many immortals, boys. Um, oh, it said something about talents. Let's go ahead and open up the talents here. We'll see talents are divided into two tracks, development and military. You can change which track to focus on based on your strategic strategic knees i can't even talk so we have one talent point um suitable for use in the construction of territorial infrastructure and this is for when attacking okay clearly right so development talents i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm gonna keep it a buck okay you're gonna want to do the development talents first i'm just i can already tell you right now like that's gonna be the that's gonna be the play you're gonna want to go for this stuff right look this is building speed straight up you're gonna need building speed before you're gonna need you know crit value like that's gonna be amazing later right what is this dodge value yeah you're gonna need that at some point but really resource production like this is gonna be this is gonna be all the smart players are gonna invest in that early on like that if you if you have a big brain like that's the big iq play right there and everybody knows it okay let's go ahead and train some more of these here um i don't know should i be upgrading this actually should i be upgrading like this it's 20 seconds like we should probably upgrade that before we commit to a 15 minute training session but can we upgrade it while it's, oh, we can, boys. We can upgrade the buildings while we're training troops. That's the quality of life improvements that I like to see in games like this. We can build another farm. Do we have three builders? Oh, I guess we don't need a third builder. Ooh, we get some stone. We get some food. We get some lumber. What's over here? Castle four. Okay. Looks like this is, there's something. There's Oh, wait, what is this? What is this wait there's stone and what's this oh iron am i getting iron is that what this is what is this no this produces stone but 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 okay so we need oh wait one two three four five there's five resource types in this game okay 
Okay, so we'll have to see how that plays out, but I like the free stuff I'm getting here, so I'll just like, I'll take all that, thank you very much. Um, what are we getting over here? Let's upgrade this. So we don't have a minute. What are you, crazy? We don't have a minute, dude. Come on, man. What do you think is this, dude? We got, we got no time. Okay, if it's less than 30 seconds, we'll wait it out, but other than that, like, come on, what are you doing? What are you just saying? I'm gonna sit here. Oh, let's go ahead and equip this. Let's go ahead and equip this. I feel like I have ADHD playing a game like this. Let's go ahead and do it. There's just so much to do, right? There's so much to do. I'm gonna put it on, um, they want me to put it on Lancelot. It's probably better on my, my more powerful. So this gives you crit and physical strength this is i mean this is like the worst equipment in the game right but it's probably look we get free power it's free power look at that look at that i kind of feel like it's better on her oh oh there's different types of equipment that's actually so smart and really like that's just see the attention to detail of course she's not going to wear a helmet with a sword right she's got a staff and a whatever this is so there's different types of equipment for di that's so interesting I feel like there's a there's just a level of depth that is just in there's a level of depth in this game that I feel like isn't in other games like this. So that's really promising, really good to see. Let's go ahead and train some bowmen. I don't know what we're doing over here. We're not lazy, okay? We've got stuff to do. We got to build a warehouse. Look, it's in freaking shambles over here. Everyone forgot about the warehouse. Look and bada boom, we got a new roof. I love that you get to watch the buildings actually build. I think that's just so, so cool. Like, it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something instead of just like pressing a button and like, oh, boom, there's a farm. Like, you're actually watching the things be built. I don't know. To me, it just, it feels cooler, right? Um, if the graphics, if the graphics for games like these are really bad, then it just feels like I'm interacting with like a numbers menu, right? But here, it's a fully rendered 3D environment and everything's animated everything just it looks it's like a real game like it, i know that sounds stupid right but like it's it's actually built like a real game and, and it should be because it is <laughs> i don't know if you guys are following what I'm, what I'm going with that but anyway now we can probably do castle to four castle to four ten minutes um yeah we'll do it boom so we unlock to the smeltery zone and the harbor wait a minute there's a harbor Oh my, okay, hang on. Let's build the smeltery. Wait a minute, the harbor, tell me I can have ships. If I can have a naval fleet, I'm going to lose it. This looks cool. Okay, no, this probably isn't what I'm thinking. Maybe we can't do naval battles. Dude, naval battles would be so cool in a, in a game like this. I'm assuming the harbor's probably for trade though. So, Trade with the merchants and gain a 60 minute building speed up. Wait a minute, hold up. A certain amount of time in gold as a chronicle progresses, more ports will become available. Let's start a voyage. Dude, this is cool. This is cool. Wait, what? I feel like I have like a, like I legitimately feel like there's like a world I have to explore. Sign in. Yep, I'll take that. Thank you. Discounts. What is this? Um, I don't even know, but I feel like I should do it because it's 50% off. <laughs> we'll hold off on that. We gotta make smart decisions here, okay? I gotta I gotta be a role model for you guys. Don't be don't be wasting speed ups like I've been doing, okay? I've been at dude nine stones. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna be doing so much summoning, boys and girls. Okay, so we wanna join an alliance, of course. So let's go ahead and hit join. We'll join a whatever. Let's just we'll just pick one. And of course the alliance is freaking animated too this is crazy oh my god there's so much to do all right so i want to show you guys the world map you can see this is my territory right here it doesn't show my name it just says my territory so if we zoom out this kind of reminds me of like the starting zone of for orcs and world of warcraft back in like and i think they changed with the recent with the recent uh, expansion but you know what i'm talking about this is like basically like the the desert wasteland type of vibe you can see the sun rays coming off in the top left corner absolutely gorgeous if we zoom out we can actually click the world map here this is where i am this is the 
city that my alliance has, uh, is attempting to capture. And if we zoom out, you can see the world is actually massive. Like this is the, this is the entire server here. You can see blue is kind of dominating. Uh, the blue kingdom is kind of dominating here up in the top. That is of course, Idvia, that's that's mine. The map is absolutely gorgeous, and it's super. Uh, it it transitions flawlessly from this wasteland to like the forests and the plains, and then you have the up in the top. There's this like frozen tundra. Let me actually zoom in here. Let's leave the um. Let's leave the world map. We can actually before we do that, you can see the factions here. You can see the faction power is just oh, predominantly Idvia. Like it's it's actually crazy. I don't know how that ended up happening, but anyway, it's fine. We're on we're on the blue team. We're good. Um, if we go up here, you can see it's going to transition from this uh, sort of wasteland over to now we're in the plains area. You can see some of the green guys are burning over here, which is crazy. And then if you zoom in, you can actually see, um, obviously these are like some of the, the um, gnomes out in the open fields here. This is one of the boss fights. This is the lava lurker. Um, you A lot of times you have to attack these multiple times, depending on how strong you are and how strong the level of that is. Um, but there's just like these crazy, just like massive, boss fights out on the open open world it's super cool and then you can see here it transitions from the from the little the plains with the trees to like a dense forest and there's birds flying around like the game just looks so so good it looks so good and then up in the top this is uh if you follow like the story um right at the beginning with that uh oh wait can i search this i want to search this it's a seven minute scout but that's fine i got nothing else to do um <clears throat> this uh, ice wall the frozen wastes up top this is i guess where the gnomes like originally came from this this portion of the map here and you can see no one no cities are up here there's no players up here there's no anything up in the frozen wastes, which is crazy but that probably means i wonder if there's going to be some sort of like really cool events that happen up here uh, if they've already announced it let me know in the comments but it's just it's it's there's a whole portion of the map that's unused with this with this uh, uh, with this ice barrier around it the ice wall looks so so cool so yeah the, the, the map is huge and the game just looks incredible guys I, I, this video has been way longer than I than I thought it would be let's end it on a free did we get a free summon we're not going to do that. We're no, no, no. We're, you're not going to trick me into using my nine stones. Okay. Let's do a little free summon here to end the video. What are we getting out of this? How many shards are we going to get a summon? No, we're going to get shard. No, we're getting a summon. What is this? Little red riding hood. Oh, with the skirt. That was a little shameless guys. Come on. That was a little bit shameless there. You had to make it. Okay. Anyway, we got Vlasta. She's uncommon Bowman fire. This is our first fire elemental and she's magic inflicts magical damage. Um, to one random enemy unit okay i am excited i can see the hype around the game and i can see why so many people asked me to play this i can see why so many people recommended me to play this game and guys honestly um i think you know it's worth a try it's worth a shot you guys should probably give this game a go okay and i know if you made it to the end of this video look listen let's let's just let's just keep it 100 okay let's keep it 100 percent honest with one another a lot of people are mad at ROK right now, okay? VIP 18, right? This is a new game to try. It's a new game to try. It's free to play. You might as well give it a shot because I am legitimately impressed, right? I'm legitimately impressed with the way that this game looks and has played so far. The attention to detail is insane. So if you want to give the game a try, give it a try. There's a link in the description below to download infinity kingdom. Absolutely for free. You can play it on your iPhone or on your Android device. Uh, I'm going to be syncing this account right to my phone so I can play it when I lay in bed after this. Um, everybody knows that you need to drop a thumbs up on the video for this cute, adorable owl. I absolutely freaking love it, dude. I love it. Look, you can zoom in and the quality of everything doesn't get all blurry and gr grainy and garbage. We got to rebuild this too. Looks, looks like garbage. I got to clean my city. Okay, guys, again, download the link. The link is in the description. You already know this. Uh, click the link, download the game. If you want to play with me, check in the comments. I will make it abundantly clear. So if you want to play with me, you will be able to play with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. It really does help out the channel a ton. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, more Infinity Kingdom videos just like this one. And click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a brand new video. And of course, comment down below any questions you have about Infinity Kingdom. I want to hear your 
thoughts, your opinions. Have you played this game? Have you heard of it? Have you seen them? I know other people, other ROK uh, commentators are playing this game. I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions in the comments section below. Would you be interested in seeing more videos of this game? I think it looks super cool. Like this is right up my alley in terms of like medieval high fantasy. Like I absolutely love that type of uh, fiction, that type of game, right? A story. So I'm, I'm interested. I'm going to be playing some more of this game on the channel. Uh, maybe doing some live streams. We'll see potentially, potentially. Um, but I'm really excited guys. So make sure you go ahead and, uh, like I said, subscribe comments. And of course, all my social media links are in the description below. So make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, discord, uh, Facebook, everywhere. It's all in the description below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.